Hey folks, Wish SE up here in New Hampshire. I wanted to talk today about customized guns, in this case, Glocks. So my good friend and gunsmith, BG Gunworks, does all sorts of stuff. And I wanted to show you some work that he's done for me on a couple of different Glocks. What I wanted was really to maximize the Glock platform for two guns the Glock 17 and 9mm and the Glock 19. So we're going to show that to you right now. Again, <laughs> if you're looking for someone who does phenomenal work, I'm not paid to do this. I'm doing this because uh, Brad's the best gunsmith I've ever worked with and the quality of his work is fantastic mostly because not only does he understand how to do all the stuff he does, but he's, he's a shooter first, and he's a very skilled shooter, which means that anything he does to the gun is something that, as a shooter, he's going to relate to. A lot of people work on guns, cut guns, this, that, and the other thing, and they never shoot the guns. So as someone who uses a gun, I want to have someone like Brad, who can actually shoot the gun, modify it for me. So we're going to show you first the Glock 17 with the cut for the RMR. All right, this is the Glock 17 with a cut for the Trijicon RMR. This red dot optic makes putting the gun on target very, very quickly. It also has the tritium night sights, so it also, you know, you can certainly use this at night. What I've found at night in shooting this gun is the red dot, again, with the light on the gun, makes it very, very, very quick and easy. I mean, you really own the night with the red dot and with the light on it and tritium sights. And this tritium, I have to say, these are tritium suppressor sights. Um, what's great about them is, and when you're learning to run the red dot, what you do is you hunt the front sights just like you would with any other handgun. So you come out, you look for those front sights. Once you find those front sights, there's your red dot. The red dot takes a little bit of training to get used to just as soon as you see the red dot on the target to press the shot. It doesn't matter whether your sights are actually on the target. And so there's a little bit of a training curve. However, RMR cuts like this, and specifically with the RMR, when the Glock and the placement of it, the alignment, the co-witness of it, all of that stuff um, to me is something that really works well. So again, Brad did this work for me. Um, love it, absolutely fantastic. Next, we're gonna look at the Glock 19. So I went to Brad and I said, Brad, I love the Glock 19 and you know have used it for years and years and years, 20 years as a, as a carry gun. Um, the one thing I'm not crazy about though is the hump on the back and then subjectively, this is just me, I'm not a big fan of the finger grips. So I always liked the Gen 2 Glocks because they didn't have those finger grooves in them that to me just didn't work. The other issue is this cutaway here. So if you shoot a Glock a lot, you find, find your knuckle getting whacked underneath there because there's just a flat run that comes back against this. So what I had Brad do is I had Brad remove this remove the, the front uh, grooves, take down the back strap just a little bit, thin it out, and then uh, stipple all the way around. So now what I have is I have a gun that fits in my hand probably better than anything else. And it is, you know, a little, a little smaller, right, in the grip, and it just feels absolutely great. So again, Brad Gaudet, BG Gunworks, um, phenomenal, phenomenal work. I also have three or four different guns that he Cerakoted for me. Uh, again, I like to Cerakote guns when they begin to wear a little bit, and also just because I wanted something different that looked cool. So if you're looking for custom Glock work, Brad you know, is certainly the, the way to go in my opinion. There are a lot of people that can do this stuff. What I like about Brad's work is Brad shoots Glocks. He carries Glocks. Uh, and he knows the gun as a shooter first, which to me is huge, right? A lot of people can cut, a lot of people can do this stuff, but if they're not shooters, they really don't understand what you're looking for. So again, this is probably my 
favorite of my Glocks right now just because it fits my hands so very well and I'm actually thinking about having it do the same work on the uh, Glock 17 in terms of that grip reduction because this cut right here underneath feels so good and the shape of this is now um, you come out it's just right on target every single time and uh, again that's just that slight change in the grip angle feels much more like a 1911 um, and the more natural grip uh, Brad also makes great Kydex holsters and this is probably my favorite everyday carry holster this is the covert holster um, and it's really just it's so minimalist there's so little to it uh, it's great it really does a fantastic job for me the nice thing about this design is you can put this gun two o'clock a pendants carry you can do it three o'clock four o'clock you can move this holster wherever you want because of that straight drop it doesn't it doesn't make any difference I personally like less kydex than more kydex so again brad's design with the covert holster is something that really works well for me so if you're looking for someone to do cerakote holsters rmr cuts grip reductions um, he's going to start playing around with a smith and wesson for me with some uh, cutaways in the slide uh, if you got any of that kind of work i would check out bg gunworks fantastic quality work uh, by a guy who actually shoots the guns Hey, thanks so much for watching. As always, stay safe.